So the Orlando Magic have extended President of Basketball Operations Jeff Weltman and General Manager John Hammond through the 2025-2026 NBA season. And honestly, I have mixed feelings about this. So before I hop into today's video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to flteams.com who I have partnered and collab with. At flteams.com, we do sports articles and blogs on the daily regarding sports teams in the state of Florida from the collegiate and at the professional level. If you guys want to go check out flteams.com, I will link to them down below. So while the Orlando Magic are currently one of the worst teams in the NBA right now, they have seven wins as I record this video. I believe, and I was there for the Utah Jazz win at home, even though when I went to the Bulls game as well, we got absolutely blown out by 50 plus. The Orlando Magic are clearly in the first year of a rebuild. They're missing two cornerstone pieces and guys like Markel Fultz and Jonathan Isaac who are going to be coming back off season ending injury. J.I. got hurt in the bubble and then I was actually at the Cavs game last year when Markel Fultz got hurt back in, I think that was January of 2020 um, when Markel Fultz you know, tore his ACL as well. So the Orlando Magic have had their little bits of success in 2019 and 2020 when they made the postseason for the first time back-to-back -back years in eight years when Jeff and John came into the organization as well. But I was very critical of the Orlando Magic for not only drafting Franz Wagner this year, who was the clear and definitive front runner for this year's NBA Rookie of the Year award, and also I've given him his praise. You know, I've made apology videos, but that's besides the point. I was really critical of the Magic when we traded away three of our cornerstone pieces in Nikola Vucevic. Aaron Gordon and Evan Fournier. We basically tore that entire team apart that have been together like three, four, maybe five years. Obviously, Frank Vogel never worked out. Steve Clifford was there. And, you know, obviously we have Jamal Mosley now. But the problem I had was even though we got nice compensation in return with Evan Fournier, we got two first round picks from the Celtics. From the Nikola Vucevic trade, we got Wendell Carter Jr., Otto Porter, and two first round picks. One of those turned into Franz Wagner. And then we have one in 2023. And then with the Denver Nuggets, we got RJ Hampton. Um, Gary Harris, he's a solid role player at best. And then we have a top five protected um, 2025 first round pick as well from the Denver Nuggets. So while we got nice compensation in return, and this team is clearly so young, and I've seen this team be scrappy and fight to the very end with really good teams this year. And even though we don't come on top a lot of times, this team has a lot of heart and this team is something special, I'm telling you. But I have a problem to an extent with the extensions of these guys because my problem with the Orlando Magic has always been they never have the balls to make the big move. Now, maybe you can say that, you know, trading away the cornerstone pieces and guys like Fournier, Vucevic, and Aaron Gordon is showing, hey, you know, we understand that we're not going to win a championship with these guys or we're not going to be a very competitive team in the Eastern Conference with these guys. What can we do to get some compensation and return from these guys and build forward? And I completely agree with that. But when it comes to guys like Cole Anthony, you know, RJ Hampton, as I said, Franz Wagner, Jalen Suggs, Wendell Carter Jr., Markel Fultz, Chumo Kiki hasn't lived up to his first round status. Like, there's a lot of talent on this team, but all of these guys are not going to be around in two, three years in an Orlando Magic uniform. Like, we have to understand that, look, you know, as much as I want to say J.I. can continuously be a part of this franchise for a very long time, he's so injury prone, man, and I'm just tired of him always being injured. Anytime I want to go see a Magic game, I, through the entire time he's been a Magic player. He's always injured. You know, Cole Anthony, I think, is going to be an all-star caliber player in the East this year. You know, Franz Wagner's amazing. Jalen Suggs, while he's been injured, he had his rookie struggles. Markel Fultz has obviously gotten better, and we've seen the development of his game. But we have to wait and see how he comes back off of injury, and hopefully he can get his stuff back together. So the Orlando Magic, Jeff and John, have to understand that not all of these guys are going to be here in two, three years. These guys, their contracts are going up. You're not going to sign every single one of these guys to long-term extensions. Maybe you're going to have to trade some of these guys. Maybe it ends up being Fultz. Maybe it ends up being J.I. Maybe it's Cole Anthony. I don't know. But I know that the Orlando Magic have continuously shown time and time again that when they trade guys or, you know, they let guys walk, it doesn't work out for us more times than not. And... I want to know that Jeff and John are going to put the Magic in the best position to succeed. And that means making a risky move, even when, you know, the chips aren't quite on the line and, you know, we're not a contender right now, make the big time move. Get some veteran leadership in here. And I don't mean sideshow Bob, Robin Lopez. I mean, get some guys in here. They're going to teach these guys how to groom and play in the NBA game. And I love Terrence Ross. Me and all my homies, we love Terrence Ross, but he needs to be on a contender. The Magic need to do something in order to acquire a big name free agent via trade or through free agency 
the Orlando Magic should be a big market. They should not be a small market team, right? You play in Florida, you live in Orlando, one of the biggest and growing cities in the United States. You live in warm weather in a state with no state income tax. The Magic are a historic franchise pretty much. And there should be zero reasons as to why the Orlando Magic fail continuously time and time and time and time again to get big names to come and play in Orlando. Magic fans, in the last decade, please remind me who was the biggest name free agent that we have signed. I understand this decade of Magic basketball has not been good. But since 2010 to 2022, which is where we're at now, what was the biggest name free agent we've signed? My point exactly. I want to see Jeff and John actually pull off a move that's like, whoa, NBA news blows up. Like the Magic just made a move for, I don't know, Marvin Bagley, for John Collins, you know, I don't know. Just do something, man. Please. You know, I love all the young developmental pieces that we've got on this team. I never even mentioned Bamba. Didn't even mention him. And he's a great piece. He's really developed and came into his own this year as well. Great three-point shooting. He's been even better defensively because he's had more of a role this year. You know, I just need to see it before I believe it with the Magic. Forget the wins. I love that we're competitive and that we have a bunch of young and scrappy guys out here. But this offseason... I better see some change in this Magic roster big time. And I'm sorry, one or two of these young guys has got to go. And it's not because they're bad. And it's not because I don't believe in them. But I need to see something from the Magic to say, hey, look, we're actually taking the right steps forward to build a team. I'm not saying we need to be a contender next year. I'm just saying be competitive. And that's what it comes down to with the Magic with me. So Jeff and John... I just want the Magic to be competitive and at least be somewhat respectable, not at the bottom every year. Do the move and make the right choices in order to put this Magic's team to have some success, not just right now, but for the future. Magic fans, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Let me know what was your guys' reaction to John and Jeff both getting contract extensions through the 2025 and 2026 season. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you guys like, turn on notifications, and hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more NBA and Jacksonville Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube as well. But Magic fans, like I said, let me know down in the comments below. And make sure you guys go follow me on all of my socials. I will link to those down below. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much. Brett James, aka BJ. I'm out, y'all. Peace.